Hello, Sim Gamers. We're back with more Sailwind Early Access. As the Sailwind crew are hard at work adding new features, we've been diving into the 0.18 update. Coming up right now, we're boarding the COG and sailing to Fort Astrin to see what sail customizations we can make. Then, we grab a couple cargo missions to see how the updated COG handles. Climb aboard and let's get into it. Hello, Sim Gamers. We are once again back with Sailwind. The 0.18 update. Getting ready for some sail customization on the COG, but first we have to sail our way to uh, Fort Eastern. So we're doing that right now. I left in the afternoon, so I'd have be less likely to run aground. There's another ship headed the same direction, and uh, we're poised to overtake them. So it's kind of cool. Just shows you how good the COG's performance can be in anything other than just truly close hauled. Of course, I'm not sure his sail configuration is particularly great. But I don't need to worry about his ship. I don't need to worry about mine. Um, I can probably coax more speed out of this thing. Let's just, uh... Loosen all of our sheet winches here on this thing. And... Of course, the wind shifted. The wind shifted. So there's no point. Just pull this as tight in as it'll go. the lights of the city over there. Uh, how much more time do we have left this evening? <clears throat> uh, is it there? there it is. Can't see the northern star from here. Oh, we have a ways to go before dawn. Man, the sail's in the way. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to sleep. Dawn is breaking very soon. As we have sailed around, gotten our way towards Fort Eastern to modify the cog. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves turned into a better wind position and actually sail into the town. Um, what's the wind doing? If I go, if I go this way, it's all good, right? Okay, since we're going to be um, no longer having to worry so much about sailing close hauled, I'm just going to loosen up my mainsail sheet winches. Make a good turn to starboard. And this sail will naturally track the wind. The mainsail will naturally track the wind as we come about. Although the wind is rather light right now. After a bit of a trip, we are finally pulling in, or getting close to pulling in, to Fort Astrin, where we're going to update, modify, and reconfigure our COG in 0 0.18 with some new sail configurations. Been looking forward to customizing this ship for a while. I tried to record this before, and uh, something happened with the sail configuration, and the foresail ended up being sort of backwards or inverted and it wasn't working right at all. Like wind coming over starboard was acting as though it was coming over port. It was just strange. That coupled with my relative lack of skill still, I mean, this is, this is sailing simulation, which Although gamified here is actually pretty complex. But I like games like this because it makes sales simulation approachable. 
Like it, it's, you can definitely see, oh, I could figure out how to do that. And of the starter ships that are available, the cog is the most um, complex. Uh, and you also start off with less supplies to begin with, usually. So you sort of have to get your first delivery done in a timely manner and start making the money dollars to really have a chance at surviving the uh, the Astrin region start. But there it is, Fort Astrin. We can see the uh, actual brig available for sale for something like 15,000 gold. Um, but we're actually pulling into those clump of buildings on the right hand side, I'm sorry, on the left hand side, because that's where the ship customization section is. And as soon as we get there, we'll start looking at what we can do to customize the ship. And I want to do something like really different if I can. So I might actually go ahead and pay the gold to just tear off all of the sails and build up from there. Let's go ahead and make a slight starboard turn and get ourselves in a better position to sail in. Um, I want to double check my wind here. The wind is, is broad right now, just straight broad. So we're going to go ahead and um, pull the starboard mainsail sheet winch. Correction. We're going to release the starboard mainsail sheet winch. I keep reading that um, the needle backwards. And one line moored, two line getting moored here really quick. And then we are finally parked and ready for some ship customization for the cog. Oh, forgot. We do have a delivery <laughs> to make. Might as well get that done. A crate of cheese to Fort Astrin. I think uh, this might be the way to go. A short Genoa and two trapezoidals, adding a mast. One thousand six hundred forty gold. That's actually really in, uh, inexpensive compared to the other ships. It's because I am I'm not moving this mast. Um, I guess if I kept the small jib, jib jibe. I can never remember. Um, someone let me know in the comments. Is it a jib or is it a jibe? Um, anyway. If I kept the small jibe, I'd be, uh, up a hundred bucks. All that said though, I think this is probably the configuration I want. Or, hang on, hear me out. Hear me out. Remove this. We got a gaff, right? As big a one as we can get uh, get uh, away with. And then right here, we add another gaff. Uh, that gaff would collide. What we can do is, uh, I bet we can find a short gaff. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, I think we're onto something. I think we're onto something. I'd be curious to know from the comments. Let me know in the comments below. Um, what... Which one of these configurations you preferred? That you <clears throat> thought would either sail better or looked cooler. This one? Or the multiple trapezoidals? I can certainly see arguments for either one. This thing's going to handle tacking, uh, close hauled sailing, like nobody's business. But it's going to lose a little bit of... Uh, it's going to still have good momentum going down, uh, running before the wind, because of this trapezoidal sail. But... Um, you know, there's some of that running before is lost 
with the gaffs. And I don't I don't actually know how much um uh, how much we can rotate these gaffs to like <clears throat> can they can they tee off basically? Can they rotate? Do they have 180 degrees of freedom on either side? That'll be ideal. This gaff isn't if I'm running before the wind, this gaff isn't gonna see much use. Um it just doesn't do us any good because most of it's going to overlap with the existing sail, the existing trapezoidal. Um, or actually, what I could do is have this gaff. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. It's a hybrid, hybrid approach, of course. Why didn't I think of this before? Um, I put the trapezoidal. on there. That way we have a gaff and uh, our Genoa if we need to be uh, sailing close hauled. S small Genoa, short Genoa. Short? What's... Small Genoa. Stay sails, small jib. I think this is what we started with, right? <clears throat> um, which actually doesn't look bad with this ship. In fact, given that this is here, it might be the way to go. Tiny jib. <laughs> Uh, however, I think I do want to change it up. We'll go with a short Genoa. Just to have it changed up. So there we go. Our new and improved COG. 2,000 gold even for these upgrades. Let's find ourselves a mission and see where we can take... One or more sails can... Oh, no. The short gaff is colliding? Bummer. See if I can't add an even shorter gaff. Well, that clinches that. We can't gaff that sail. <clears throat> that mast. There was a configuration where it worked, but it didn't. I, I don't think it, it seems like cheating. Short gaff, six yard. Four yard gaff. See, this says it works, but like, there's no way. Hmm, uh, okay. Well, there we go. 1,640 gold to put trapezoidals on uh, Adamast. Change out trapezoidals and a um, a uh, short Genoa. Nothing to do but say, okay, we're done. Here we are having customized our cog, <clears throat> added a mast, switched out the sails to trapezoidals, and switched out the the foresail from a um, from a jib sail to a uh, Genoa. Looks like we got two two delicious uh, deliveries to Siren Song, which is really close, actually. That'd be great. Actually, let's do that. Spices. Anything else to Siren Song? Sausages. Not enough reputation. Last barrel, and we're on our way. And what's the wind? Let's see. I can take a look at the wind here. Oh, wind is perfect for takeoff. We're all set for an easy departure. Loaded up cargo stable. So I don't think there's anything much more to do other than to unmoor and get moving.
let us unfurl the, Gen the Genoa. There she goes. Unfurl the mainsail. And lastly, wherever this winch is, where's this winch? Right here. The mizzen mast. Brilliant. Hmm. <clears throat> Our new ship customization departing from Fort Astrin. Uh, and we are headed pretty much west southwest. Sorry, east southeast. God dang, I always do that. That direction. And having sailed by here earlier today, I already know where the town is. Or not earlier today, but <clears throat> earlier in the video. We're getting to a somewhat close hauled operation, so I'm going to go ahead and um, see here. I want to let out <clears throat> the port sheet winch so I can pull on the starboard sheet winch. To nope, I'm reading that. I'm reading that thing wrong again. Pulling on the port sheet winch of the uh, mainsail to try to find that sweet, sweet 45 degree configuration that we love to have. Let's see here. How did I do? Uh, actually, I want to let out. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull this one then. But we're not actually sailing close hold, it turns out. I like that. That'll work. Same thing for the mizzen mast. Release port. Pull starboard. Uh, correction. No, that's right. No, that's not right. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I see. go with that. Let me just let it out a half or one peg. Sure. Okay, now for the Genoa, which is currently providing zero thrust. So. <clears throat> basically, I want to get the bottom of the uh, sail, the lower seam, aligned with the rest of these things. Out like that should do and we are finally on our way and we're actually making <clears throat> so this ship really likes broad beam as far as its sailing configuration it's hauling kind of wish I brought a, a speedometer we're heading over there to those islands Nothing like 
a great beauty shot to make you appreciate the simplicity and yet complexity and fun of this title. Music backing provided as always by Stream Beats. This is the lo-fi playlist. And the track we're hearing right now is Open Door. I'd like to know in the comments below what uh, ship configurations you are looking forward to trying out in the new update. What your base ship is and what your sail plan might look like. Uh, that'd be really cool. Easy peasy day trip from... Um, from Fort Astron to Sunspire. So I can see as the sun sets, we'll just turn on our lanterns. This is the main cell. This is the main cell. I don't want to uh, pull the Genoa yet. I want to pull the mainsail. coming in so hot and fast. There we go. And let's go ahead and more off. and deliver our cargo and call it a journey with our new cog configuration except for I'm at the wrong port siren song oh good job me <laughs> Well, with the exception of the problem of actually having gone to the exact wrong port, um, I would say it's a very, very successful um, maiden voyage of the reconfigured cog. Slapped on two um, trapezoidal sails, added a mast, added a mizzen mast, added the ma uh, trapezoidal sail on the mizzen mast, changed out the main mast uh, sail to a trapezoidal, changed out the... the uh, the four sails jib to a um, uh, Genoa which uh, looks kind of weird with this thing going on right now so there's definitely some bugs in the sail configuration but those will get worked out over time and that is it for these three episodes uh, I'll be looking forward to more sailwind probably when the uh the larger ships allow for some sail customization. But we'll probably post something here and there. I do want to start posting some videos on maneuvering, how to wear certain ships, what wearing actually means, how to tack, what tacking actually means. Uh, partly so I can learn those terms better and use them correctly, but also because they're fun to, they're fun to know and fun to do. Until then though, I've been Sim Gamer. And this has been the 0.18 update for Sailwind.